Want to use Quizlet for learning? We will show you how to do that. If you found the tutorial useful, then subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. So first, search for Quizlet and click the link that leads to Quizlet.com. I highly suggest you create an account if you really want to test the platform. Create an account, fill in your details, and if you don't want to pay for their subscription, you can continue with the free version. Now, you're on their homepage and ready to start using Quizlet. Let me show you how to get started. To practice or learn, you can use community-made flashcards or professionally crafted content from textbooks. If none of these fit your needs, you can search for something specific using the search tab at the top. You'll find flashcards, textbooks, questions, and classes made by the community that should match your query. If that's not enough, let's see how we can create custom flashcards. To create a flashcard set, click the plus button at the top right. Fill out your title and description which will describe what the flashcard set is about. Then, start creating the flashcards by entering terms and definitions. You can even add images to enhance your understanding of the terms. If you prefer, you can add an image without a term and use it to memorize definitions. You can do this as many times as needed. If you make a mistake or want to delete a card, simply click the trash icon to remove it. If you have a large list of flashcards, you can import them by clicking the Import button. This feature allows you to add a pre-made list of flashcards at once without manually typing them. Customize how the data should be read so Quizlet knows exactly how to import your flashcards. When you're ready, click Create to finalize your set or create and practice to start learning from your set right away. Once your set is ready, you can study it using different methods like flashcards, learning, testing, or matching, all available at the top of the page. These modes help you reinforce your knowledge. You can also share your set with others, edit it if necessary, or delete it by clicking the three dots on the set. If you have many sets, things can get cluttered. To stay organized, use the folder option in the top right corner to group your sets. You can access your created sets through the folder, which is your library on the left side. Additionally, you can create a class, which is like a folder that other people in your class can access. This feature is great for collaborative learning. If you find that the free version of Quizlay doesn't meet all your needs, you can check out their subscription plans to see if upgrading is right for you. And that's how you use Quizlay to create quizzes and enhance your learning experience. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment if the video helped you out.